What if a missile was launched at a US base right now? Who sees it? Who decides what to do? And how fast can America strike back? In this video, I'm going to uncover what happens in the first 60 seconds after a missile threat and how high-tech defense systems might save millions. It all starts in space. Infrared satellites orbit the Earth, constantly scanning for heat signatures. The moment a missile is launched, these satellites are the first to spot it, picking up the heat from its engines as it rises through the atmosphere. That detection is passed instantly to command centers through a network called C2BMC that's Command and Control, Battle Management, and Communications. Information races around the globe faster than any missile could fly. Next, ground-based radars like the AN-TPY-2 and sea-based systems on Navy ships pick up the object and begin tracking it. They calculate its speed, altitude, and trajectory, feeding all that data into shared systems. Leaders and computers quickly get a full picture of what's coming and more importantly, where it's going. This is a global effort. The same network covers allies in Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, tying together defense systems across continents. If the missile is a real threat, say a nuclear warhead aimed at a city, interceptors are launched. The US has several layers of defense for moments like this. SM-3 missiles from Navy ships for threats over the ocean, THAAD systems from the Army for high-altitude terminal phase intercepts, and GMD interceptors to handle intercontinental threats at the strategic level. Here's the wild part. These defensive weapons don't use explosives. They rely on hit-to-kill technology, literally crashing into the target at thousands of miles per hour, obliterating it by sheer force. But do they work? In tests, these systems have shown success, but real war is unpredictable. Hypersonic weapons, decoys, and cyber attacks make defense harder every single year. That's why the U.S. keeps investing in AI-based tracking, faster command chains, and global defense partnerships. In the end, defense isn't just about missiles. It's about time. And when seconds matter, the U.S. relies on a system that never sleeps. If you found this breakdown eye-opening, subscribe to Think in Seconds where I explain the systems that protect the world one minute at a time.